What's up, y'all? This is Big B. And this is another S39 new vlog number nine. This is kind of like a response to um not the night whole night slash 2020 um ordeal right now. And apparently, if you have not checked out night slash 2020 video, the link is on the bottom bar. And you know, guys, we've been talking about this off camera too about other interests. And we saw those who did a re uh, response to it from from Daniel 3CB. Stop Motion Jr., Gear Grinder, and so many others. But on a real, Jay, how you feel about um, outside Transformers? Well, outside of Transformers, I mean, as a collector, there are a lot of different lines you can get into as far as interest is concerned. For me personally, like I said, Transformers has been my favorite and has been my favorite since I was a kid because I just like big robots. But um, if I didn't collect Transformers, it would have either been G.I. Joe because they have an incredible uh, figure and uh, action figure and accessory line as well as Star Wars. Star Wars is incredible, especially with the, uh, uh, the new series Clone Wars, how that's just introduced Star Wars to a whole new generation and to see these these figure lines because I don't like to say toy line um, to see these lines grow and to see how many different dimensions they have is just freaking incredible to me and I mean between doing reviews and or seeing stop motions I personally would like to see a little more action with any one of those series how about you B? Most definitely you know me guys I always particularly like anything that's comic book G.I. Joe wrestling and so many others, you know. Comic book I can get into too, because I like the Marvel and DC heroes. That's that's pretty cool too, because to see those transform over the years, to see how many different incarnations and different costumes yeah. that come out, it, it's totally cool. Yeah, with the recent Batman new costume and Bruce Wayne Grand Return, it helped fit our world even more. Now, I don't know guys talking about Night Slash. Um, have no more interest in neither Transformers or stop motion. Still, I, I cannot argue his decision at all. He's his own man. He has made his own decision. You know, he can come back all he wants. But again, pressuring the guy to do something new, it's like, you know, giving a man a perfect um answer. Well, he's, he's looking for a new venture. And that's totally cool. And as a fan, you know, I, I want to say we support you, bro. We really do. We support whatever direction you choose to go. As a fan, though, we are going to miss the entertainment value that you have brought to us in your previous quests, but we're eager, eagerly anticipating what's going to come next when you uh, pick it up a notch and return. Yep, because mostly, I'm not, again, me and Jay have been discussing this on camera, too, that, yeah, you've been one of our inspirations as, um, not only in stop motion, but reviews as well, but still, I'm not hating on the guy, nor unsubscribing him like most people are right now, because really... The guy need a breather, a, a, a much needed break from stop motion reviews and whatnot, because he had other interests. Exactly. Every artist, every artist needs a muse, and right now, if that's no longer his muse, and he's looking and searching for something different, looking to go in a different direction, and or just has other interests or commitments outside of entertaining us. More power to you, bro. Like I said, you got our support, and we look forward to seeing you again in the future. Yeah, most definitely. Also, guys, how I feel about um some of the guys who subscribe to him. Guys, do not subscribe. Do not unsubscribe him, guys. Because really, if you unsubscribe, it's like you know showing your true colors again. And we're trying to hold our world together as a community in in on YouTube. You know, still nice slides like Jay said. He venturing other ideas and other personal, you know. You know, life, you know, outside of the internet, which is a, a truest thing, you know. But also, when you um know that he needs a break, the answer is pretty much question about what we're going to do next with our nice lads. It's up to up our game ten times more than before. Still, he left the door wide open, and it's up to us to f hope, help, you know, fulfill the um what he left behind. So, on the real, guys, it's high time we take, take our, our universe up a notch and see what he left behind. Right now, Jay, let's talk about stop motion. Well, stop motion is another interest that uh, 
I personally recently become more enthused and interested in and have started exploring the possibilities that uh, of projects that we could work on. Now obviously us breaking new in this it's not going to be a cinematic masterpiece but however being able to start to incorporate some of these things based off of the inspiration of people like Night Slash you see that you have an interest and you have a product and you want to improve the quality and depth of that product and, it, and it's really really cool yeah so, I mean I, I'm, I'm looking forward to doing some, some new stuff yeah well. On a real dive, we try to do something that we've been, you know, inspired by the guys on the internet and mostly everybody on, on YouTube, most definitely. But um, in closing, you know, guys, there's plethora of opportunity outside Transformers as well as in. The only thing I can say is it's up to you to make sure that whatever interests that you find, make it happen. As a collector and enthusiast, again, and for the sake of this, I will use the word toy line. I really hate using that word, but I will use the word toy line. There are so many different toy lines that have come out over the last several years that are that feature highly articulated and detailed figures. They come with multiple accessories and display options. It, it's just really, really incredible. So, example, you got Marvel Legends. Check out the guys and let's say Sonic is part of all of them. You know what I'm talking about. Check them out. DC Universe Classics. Same thing there. Transformers. There you go. Wrestling figures. Even G.I. Joe. There's plethora of um, <laughs> things that change well, over even, the years. Even, even the other figures such as getting into the McFarlane toy lines and things to that effect and other movie toy lines. There is so much stuff out there for the collector and enthusiast that if you keep your eyes open and you keep your mind right, there's so many things that can be done in the realm of stop motion animation. So keep a, keep a fresh eye and uh, yeah. your mind open for new perspectives. Yeah, because mostly guys outside of the internet, we always keep it real outside. That means you might have family, friends, even a girlfriend or your ladies have a guy friend, but either way, remember there's plethora of things during these th these trying times. All opportunities always not.